So these things apparently multiply like rabbits. Santa came by a few days ago making an early delivery. And I'm now the proud owner of my third 1985 GM diesel. In this case, an Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme Brome. 121,000 miles on it. Obviously has been garage kept and well taken care of its entire life. It does have a remanufactured good wrench engine of unknown origin that runs very well and it is completely correctly fitted with all of the 1985 electronic parts intake manifold and injector pump and everything that they produced for the 1985 model year all in functioning condition and the car is just in amazing condition so I just wanted to do a quick walk around here and let you all see it I've had a couple people who knew I had it tell me I've been holding everybody hostage of not letting people see it so here it is That vinyl top is maroon. It's so dark it may look black in this picture. I'm not sure, but it is in amazing original condition and matches the burgundy interior. A little crack on the armrest there, and that's just about all that's wrong with the thing. It's pretty well equipped with most options that were available this year including the gauge cluster the stereo with an equalizer that one is actually out of a Cadillac which is why it says symphony sound and has the laurel wreaths on the knobs but it is the same radio that actually came with the car from the factory, the UU6 RPO code radio with the extended range speakers. And of course being a diesel we'll have to start it and look under the hood. And being an 85 diesel you will notice it has the check engine light. It's got 121,000 miles on it. Take a quick look in the back seat. Very clean. And obviously very well cared for its entire life I don't know if this headliner is original it kind of looks like it is but it's hard to tell The air conditioner does need charging. It's obviously got a leak somewhere, so that will have to be addressed before too long here in Texas.
but it runs extraordinarily well. It actually has a 204R overdrive transmission that has been recently swapped into it. It had the 200C out of the factory, 3-speed. With the overdrive, we've just re-geared the rear end. See what would have come with it if it had the overdrive from the factory. And the performance is absolutely amazing. For an Oldsmobile diesel engine. Can't wait to find out what it does on the highway as far as mileage with the overdrive and the lighter weight mid-sized car. But anyway, here it is. Wanted to let everybody see it. Figured it would be a good way to start Christmas morning. And a Merry Christmas to all. 1985, Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme, 350 Diesel.